Welcome to this Combat Mission Battle for Normandy gameplay video. This is Mission 8 of the Road to Nymargen campaign, which is part of the Market Garden module. This mission is called Night Fight. If you wish to skip the mission briefing, etc., then the times should be appearing now. Situation Refors 0035 Monday the 18th September 1944 Refors was successfully cleared of enemy forces yesterday afternoon the remainder of the day passed without incident and Weinberg's platoon took advantage of the lull to find good defensive positions and register their guns Just after midnight Ford pickets reported hearing Germans approaching their position through the forest Mission. Your mission is a simple one. Kill the Germans. Bloody their nose sufficiently to discourage them from making further unprepared moves on our positions. Destroy enemy forces, 250 victory points. Enemy condition less than 70%, 100 victory points. Deny enemy control of Rietvorst Hotel, the windmill. You have 15 minutes to accomplish your mission. Friendly forces. Only units from 1st platoon is available in this mission. You have one TRP to place. Enemy forces. We have almost no intel available on enemy strength or training. However, judging by the noise they are making while approaching our positions, they appear to be unaware of the presence of US forces in Reithorst, and so it should be possible to ambush them. Plan. Prepare an effective ambush to kill as many of the en enemy as possible. Do not let them occupy the two structures. Notes: Weather is overcast. Wind direction is from the southwest. Wind strength is gentle. Okay, so windmill hotel. That sounds a little familiar. And yes, this is the same battlefield we thought on a while back well a little bit cut short but uh, that's interesting so not much in the way of forces though we've got first squad a HQ team and a mortar team. Well, what I'm going to do is go away and have a think about it the way I normally do. So, see you in a few seconds. Right, so a quick look at the plan. As you can see, we actually only do have 15 minutes. So, uh, it's going to be a quick scenario. I've left the mortar team up here, they're not going to move, they seem to have pretty good line of sight down most places, apart from down the edge here, not sure if anything's going to come up that road. Um, what I'm doing with the teams down here, the platoon HQ, that's going into the windmill, so is C team with light machine guns, they're going into a different floor over there. I'm leaving the sort of heavier machine gun um, placed down here. Again he's got pretty good line of sight along here. Finally I've got this team here which are going to go into part of the hotel. I, I was thinking so much about putting my machine gun team in here. Um, but no I'm going to do that because yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Now, this is a nighttime mission. I'm not too sure how well this is now showing up on the video, but what I'm going to do is the little trick that Combat Mission have got for some of us whose uh, eyesight is on the way out. Hold Alt key and the B. You can see we get this lovely floodlit style 
lighting which is what I'm going to be using um, for the video obviously you don't have to use that in game but uh, some of you who, who may feel that um, if you play this game it's a little bit dark for the dark missions you know just use alt b to brighten it up slightly okay so let's get on with um, turn one here we go Right, so going across with my uh, teams to the windmill. Going okay at the moment. Run, move it. As they're running, they're less likely to uh, spot. I didn't go all the way to the top. So it's on the second and third floors. Right, so we're here with the mortar team. That's the windmill behind the uh, tree there. I've got the hotel down there. Everyone's in position. No sound contacts at the moment. Now the TRP I've left where it was placed originally. I don't know whether that's a good idea or a bad idea. But that's the way I've done it. Now I'm stuck right behind the tree so I don't know if I'm going to just blow up the tree when uh, the mortar starts firing that should be interesting and usually my luck holds where things like that will happen still no sound contacts or anything Pay attention. it's sort of a bit uh, worrying especially as we've got such little time thinking to myself where are they where are they but the less time they've got to attack the better Still nothing. I am running version 3 of the engine now. And uh, apparently... Oh! Sound contacts over there. Oh, great, they're attacking the hotel. So that was a poor placement by me. Yeah, my machine gun there's not going to get any look, but I need to bring... Oh, oh my goodness! Look at these popping up! I have to get my mortar team onto them. I think I'll attack the ones down at the hotel rather than these guys, because I've got two teams here. Plus the machine gun team, I think, has got line of sight up there. Okay, so I set the mortar team to fire over here. I was going to lay down some suppressive fire from the machine gun team over here, but they don't have that much. Oh, it's okay. The mortar firing, that is. They don't have that much ammunition.
Did you see that? Still moving through the forest, both sides. There goes that explosion there. I'm sort of shooting like this, more to suppress them than to <laughs> defeat them. Because we've got, oops, sorry about that, 10 minutes to survive, which is the way I'm looking at it. Trouble is with the sound contacts like that, don't know whether they've taken cover, which is a good thing, or they're unaffected. How much ammunition do we have? 15. So, oh, look at these. But some of these might be the same unit. Guys have been busy. Oh, says my machine gun team. It's good to put off the first assault, hopefully. There's guys here, they're coming down the middle as well. I redirected the mortar fire to here, but the trouble is they've only got one shell and I don't know where that's going to land. No, they're out now. Oh, they're putting down a little bit of fire. It's fine. Oh, looks like I got wounded there. Yep. Maybe I'll try the... How's he with... Uh, oh, he's got wounded as well. I'm going to put down some brief fire down here. Okay, so I'm having problems here. Um, I've got two wounded in my machine gun team, and it seems possibly because there's a heavy machine gun team over here. And he's shooting on the mortar team now, whom I've asked to put down some fire. Six minutes to survive. How are these guys doing? There's two of them left. One of them was uh, acting as medic on the third. Okay, I'm taking a lot of wounded. I think this is going to be another case of me not winning the scenario in any shape or form. Out 
quite a few. Got one that surrendered. Oh, I've taken wounded again, one of my HQ team. under five minutes to go. What a bright sound context there. The guys that uh, had smoke grenades, I asked them to put them down, but the trouble is I couldn't control the facing of them. But I did it anyway. There are fresh sound contacts coming over here, so it's Not good. HQ guys on his own. These two guys, I can't remember whether it was a three man team or a two man team. These two guys are holding out okay. these firing off in the direction of where that heavy machine gun was but they seem to be reluctant No, I've lost my HQ team. Hang on. God, that's right. Early. That's very early. There he goes. Got two men left in the windmill. These two guys. I'm pondering about rushing the mortar team down here, but um, it's a long way to go, and there's a heavy machine gun team. So I'm a bit reluctant to do that. Maybe they've given up. This looks like a f rather fresh sound contact there. All oh, these seem to be rather old. Okay, so we've got two minutes left. Try to reposition the machine gun team back where they were near the two wounded men whom I've now sort of lost contact with where are you? come here, come here there we go so I don't think the I've also moved back the mortar team who'd withdrawn slightly but I think they're more or less out of the fight anyway These come, guys are coming out of crossfire. The two guys are still in there. Okay, I'm trying to lay down some fire amongst these guys. Press them slightly, but they're not having it. They're all going for the windmill. My T 
two guys in here. Guys in the hotel seem to be fine. Look out! Enemy contact! Things up there, but they're not doing anything. Okay, so U.S. Army minor victory. <laughs> At last, I got a victory. <clears throat> okay, so U.S. Army failed casualties. I secured 100 points. Germans failed on the windmill and the hotel. Friendly casualties, and they, but they got a friendly bonus. So I got 167 to their 100. I had 12 men killed. Sorry, 12 men okay. 4 men killed, 2 men wounded. They got 70 men okay. 18 killed, 12 wounded, 3 men missing. Let's just have a quick look. I'm just going to go through my my guys rather than the whole of the German forces as well. So starting with the Malta team. So 13 enemy casualties, total for the campaign 14. The C team in the windmill, um, they got none but they've had 10 casualties for the campaign so far. Can I click on the... Wounded HQ, yes. 11 enemy casualties for a total of 20 in the entire campaign. We've got the team in the hotel. Two enemy casualties, 12 for the entire campaign. And finally the machine gun team. Uh, four enemy casualties, 14 throughout the whole campaign. Okay, so there's, no, there's a lot that's surrendered down here, which I didn't see. They are panicking. They're not happy. There's a fair number. We're attacking the, ho the uh, windmill. There's a lot down here. Wounded though, so uh, I think all things considered, I, I did okay. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, so thanks very much for watching.